Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I just wanted to remind you that if you don't have your manifestation yet, first of all, it's on its way as long as you are consciously affirming and putting in the work, okay? Even if it's just for 10 minutes a day, you guys, you have to get it, okay? Just make sure the rest of your thoughts are on check, on point, okay? Um, and something that I want to let you know, you guys, is that nothing is ever, like, unchangeable. Everything is malleable, okay? Um, I know a lot of you are stressing about your manifestation, especially your SP manifestation, and I just want to come in and remind you guys that all you have to do is select a different version of them. Why are you giving into the version of them or whatever your manifestation is, uh, you know, where it's stressing you out? You're just like, oh my gosh, like, you know, this is never going to happen. I feel so bad. You have to get out of that victim mindset, okay? Select a different version of them. Select a version of them that's into you and only you, that only has eyes for you, that's head over heels obsessed with you, um, that, you know, does everything for you, that caters to you, that gives you attention, that makes you feel spoiled, loved, wanted, okay? You have to show up for yourself you guys and you have to find a way to regulate your nervous system and therefore regulate your thoughts i know sometimes like you know um it is really all about your thoughts you don't really have to do anything extra other than changing your thoughts but there are certain tools there are certain things that you can do in order for you to change your thoughts okay there are definitely um you know like obviously getting exercise meditating you know these are all good things and uh maybe you know this is a sign for you maybe this is your higher self maybe this is your nervous system saying like hey this thing happened for you to you know better your health better yourself in certain ways and again that's just one assumption i'm not saying you have to do all of that but you know the thing is the only reason you, you're reacting to anything is because of the meaning and value you're assigning it everything is neutral and you guys once you really meditate enough or you regulate your nervous system enough or you affirm enough you know you're affirming 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 it helps neutralize those triggers you don't get as triggered like certain things will come up but you'll be able to let go of them completely and once you let go of them you know that's when things start changing once your dominance you know um thoughts change that's when that thing really comes in okay so, but the thing is you have to you know you have to understand that everything is changeable everything is malleable and you you know, like thoughts are literally like subscriptions. I saw a tweet that said thoughts are like subscriptions. You decide what you are subscribing to. So stop subscribing to things that you don't like. Stop subscribe, like stop giving into things that you don't like. Stop even reacting. Like, okay, I get emotionally reacting. You know, that happens. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this happened. I feel, you know, so-and-so, my self-esteem, this, that. But also pick yourself back up, you guys. This too shall pass. These feelings are fleeting, okay? You're not going to feel bad forever. You're going to change your circumstances. But, you know, here's the thing. I don't want to say, you know, anything is testing you, but let's say you do see something unfavorable in your reality. If you really want to know if you're going to be able to change that, you really want to expedite your manifestations, you need to change your reaction to that thing and you have to like be solid in that. You have to tell yourself like, okay, um, you know what, I'm going to think different thoughts and I know that my circumstance is going to change and you guys whatever it is that you're doing you know just be solid in your assumptions okay like even tell yourself negative thoughts don't manifest they don't they don't have to manifest you you have the power to dictate what manifests and what doesn't okay but a lot of you guys are too scared to like you know wield your power um and you're like more like unconsciously like oh my gosh like what if this goes wrong like you know i know personally when i started manifesting you know i'm just like oh my gosh am i saying this right is this gonna backfire on me this that nothing backfires on you nothing is ever gonna backfire on you you guys anything negative that happens in your reality is just you know that it just means it's working but again you have to also tell yourself that um it's easy for you to change your thoughts it's easy for you to select different versions you guys the version of your sp that you're experiencing that you've seen it's just one version select the version of them that you want okay like i I think sometimes we need reminders because you know sometimes we give too much into the 3d the 3d is just a projection of like it's just one projection of your consciousness there's like tons of other projections you need to live in another reality you need to completely ignore the 3d stop tracking the 3d stop like you know because you're just reacting to old versions of yourself which is you know you don't need to do that okay just look at content view content you know um you know that makes you feel good like for example like you know uh you know go online and like you know read success stories you know watch like stories of people getting their or you know 
watch content that has to do with people getting their manifestations, people being happy, and you will change so fast, okay? But you guys, it's really about controlling your reactions. You really, really have to control how you're reacting to certain things, how you're showing up for yourself. It's okay if you're negatively reacted. It's okay if you're emotionally reacted, um, you know, either internally or whatever, but then you have to correct that, okay? I know sometimes when we see things, we're humans, we react, but what are your thoughts after that? Are you going to accept that or are you going to be like, no, that's not in my reality. This is my reality. I'm the main character of my show. I'm not going to be a victim in my own movie like I'm not gonna like you know I'm not gonna have a sad ending okay like most movies have happy endings I like sometimes you know like raise my eyebrows at like you know movies that don't have happy endings unless there's like a sequel coming up or something but who wants a sequel just you know um it, it's a movie okay your life is a movie it's a rom-com yeah there's some negative things that happen in between but eventually the two people that are in love end up with each other okay that's happened in like most shows most you know everything that i've watched okay but they do they do end up getting their goals and they do end up getting exactly what their goal is too sometimes they get redirected okay sometimes they get other opportunities um but you don't have to accept that as the end all be all you don't have to be like oh well perhaps this is what the universe had in store for me sometimes you know we don't get what we want you can get exactly what it is that you want okay but you have to stand firm in that you have to stand on business if you want what you want you want the person you want to show up for in a very specific way get as specific as you need to and um you know keep affirming until you see that okay but live your life be happy hang out with friends have fun you know take yourself out take yourself out you know on a date like just um you know don't put your life on pause you guys this person like i know you like them i know you care about them but they're not more important than you okay i was like yawning i'm just like oh my gosh you guys like this person is just you like you know i'm not saying they're boring or anything but it's just like who cares like you know this person you know, like, they're, they're just you, they're literally just you in a different form, all you have to do is, like, you know, just stop, you know, just get out of the victim mindset, that's the biggest thing that, you know, keeps people um, stuck, like, they're in a victim mindset, and that, that can manifest in different forms, it's, and victim doesn't just mean, like, oh, everything bad happens to me, it's even saying things like, oh, the economy sucks, like, you know, whatever you're uh, kind of accepting is, like, working against you, even if you're, like, the most confident person ever, and, you know, let's say you're trying to earn money, but you just can't, like, you know, surpass a certain amount of money, um, then, you know, what are your other thoughts, maybe your thoughts are that it's hard for you to earn money, it's hard for you to keep money, or, like, you know, like, the, the economy this, the economy that, you know, um, be careful about your thoughts, and, you guys, at the end of the day, like, we think 70,000 thoughts, it, it would be like so much work to trace down every single thought flip every single thought that's why i always preach and you know, have some blanket affirmations you say like my life is perfect my life is perfect my life is perfect my life is perfect you know everything is perfect i am happy okay focus on feeling happy and good within yourself you guys just say things like i feel so happy i feel so secure okay even if you don't feel that way um you know you will attract things in your life that make you feel happy that make you feel secure okay especially you guys if you if you're someone that uh you know you're letting your sp's actions dictate your mood you're letting other people's actions dictate like you know whatever is going on in your life like that really really means you need a system reset because why does anyone else have that much power over you know what you're doing never ever let anyone else anything else you know control you control your emotions you got to keep your emotions in check and the best way to do that you guys is to you know regulate your nervous system and you know have reminders like oh my gosh like nothing is unchangeable okay your your person can change you're not their type yeah you are their type you've always been their type maybe they need maybe if you see them like you know oh my gosh, they're, I'm not their type, they're, they're going after this type of people, okay, well, maybe they needed to do that to realize that's not their type at all, maybe it's just a phase that they're having, oh, you know, I, I keep getting rejected, you know, I keep uh, putting in applications, I keep getting rejected, there's someone out there, you guys, that is getting a pain to look at your resume and hire you, okay, but you have to, like, not give up on that idea, you have to tell yourself, I'm the most employable person, I'm so qualified, I'm so smart, I can do anything I put my mind to, okay, I'm so lovable, I'm so deeply loved, I'm so easy to fall and stay in love with, okay i have high standards and people meet them that's also one thing people get stuck in like i get it for a lot of you guys you know you watch videos like this you've been hurt you've been burnt in the past now you have high standards but that doesn't mean people can't meet them you guys here is the thing okay it doesn't have to be lonely you know unsubscribe to certain beliefs that make you feel like you know uh you can't like achieve anything in life okay again you don't need to like uh, subscribe to every single thing that you hear you need to tell yourself things like, oh my gosh, you know, I am the best thing ever. I am like the best asset. I'm the best employee. I'm the best, you know, lover ever. Like, you know, uh, I am like, I just, 
I'm like the most lovable, amazing, secure, confident person. You will attract versions of those people. Here's the thing, you guys, when you escalate, when you grow, when you have standards, it doesn't have to be that people left, get left behind. Sometimes they do. It doesn't have to be the case. People meet you where you're at. When you shift to a higher dimension, when you shift to a higher level of thinking, higher consciousness, even the people that are in your life, they have no choice but to reflect that back to you and you get to choose who comes with you. Sometimes people do fall out of the wagon. Sometimes, you know, people do get left behind, but they can catch up. It doesn't have to be that way. It's your story. Maybe you can, you know, this is why manifestation happens. You can manifest people in the past that quote unquote got left behind. Maybe they needed to like, you know, go through that uh, to, you know, be at your level to meet you where you're at. So, you know, they could truly genuinely love you or be in your life the way that you want them to. Okay. But again, nothing is out of your control. Okay. You just, it's all about controlling your thoughts. It's all about getting, you know, out of that victim mentality. It doesn't have to be hard. You guys, it's just one thought. Okay. I get, and I always say, you know, robotically affirm, saturate your mind. And if you've been doing that, you guys, negative thoughts really don't hold any power. And also, you know, you don't have to take every single little thing as like, you know, the truth. Okay. Like, you know, I've been affirming a lot. Oh, this little thing happened. I got some movement. Keep going until you get that full movement. And everything is the of incidents you guys i feel like you really need to get this tattooed um somewhere you need to get this tattooed on your brain everything is the bridge of incidents that's leading you to where you want to be you don't need to think about how it's going to happen you don't need to think about unfavorable circumstances you don't need to you know i know for a lot of you guys you know you get too caught up in the how and it's like you know your sp comes back and they start acting like you know a bad way just tell yourself everything is smooth sailing guys everything is like you know it's easy life is just easy life is just perfect for you all the time you're just happy you have to get to the point you guys where you're unbothered okay where you're invincible you know that's why stoicism exists you know your sp does something it's not them it's not them it's a doppelganger it's an evil twin that's not the reality that you want okay don't take things so personally there does exist a reality where you and your person are together even if you can't fathom that reality you got to keep affirming manifesting until you get to that okay um just tell yourself i'm always thriving excelling succeeding at everything i do i am the best version of myself i truly love myself okay I really love this. I've always been the best version of myself and people will have no choice but to show up that way for you, okay? But in the meantime, live your best life. Be happy. Don't be too concerned about, you know, what other people are doing saying this. You've got to, like, you know, lightheartedness, carefreeness, you guys. That really is the way to attract certain things. I know, like, a lot of you are deep thinkers. You have high standards and maybe you do overthink things, but maybe this is a sign. Maybe, like, you know, you are, wherever you're at in your manifestation is a sign for you to, like, just let go of certain things, okay? Let go of, like, you know, um, the disappointment. It's also letting go of like something within you like the anger the, the insecurities the jealousy the the not feeling good enough okay like i know we're all humans you don't have to be perfect but you know just keep going just keep going until you know you're happy you're content this is your life okay you don't need to like you know be a victim in your own reality nothing is ever that deep you guys your sp is just one person out of like a billion other people okay it's not like it's seriously and they're just you they're not that special they're only special because you make them special because of the attention that you're giving them okay so um or your manifestation whatever it is that you're manifesting okay um so i just wanted to remind you that just select a different version the way to select a different version is to be a different version of yourself and you know think just subscribe to a higher level of thinking you get negative thoughts rise above that like rise above that don't react to that the way that you will you know would have the reason people's lives are the same day to day is because they're thinking the same thoughts they're just not changing and even if you guys if you start changing at least a couple thoughts every single day you know it becomes a habit and you just you know that's how you see a lot of changes in your reality like oh okay you know I'm, I'm thinking these thoughts um things are definitely changing things are definitely shifting and you know reality has no choice but to conform you guys your sp has no choice but to conform you have no choice but to conform but the thing is it does start with different thinking oh my gosh thinking different thoughts and consistently thinking those thoughts okay again you, you don't have to change like your entire self-concept in a day but like you know keep working on it anything any thought that comes up be like you know oh okay i like this thought i accept this or no i don't okay um, just be conscious of your own thoughts. Just I uh, understand that you deserve the absolute best. And your person, you guys, like they wanna they they wanna give you the best. There exists a version of them that is exactly what you want. You you gotta keep going until you get that version of them, okay? Have a clear picture of what it is and keep affirming until you receive that, okay? Um I'm um, yeah, I also do wanna let you know there is a self concept challenge going on, on my Patreon. I also offer in depth charity as well as manifestation coaching and also custom makes subliminal. So if you're interested in any of these services, check out the description box below where you'll find my website and sign up for those services through my website. And yeah, I will end the video right here. Or I will end the video right here. I intend that every single person gets their manifestation to full fruition for the good of all and harm to none. Thank you so much. Happy manifesting.